Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to the ultimate pyromancer guide of Dark Souls 3. Here I am heading back into the Grand Archives. I realized that it was stupid of me in the last episode to not even unlock the shortcut. Um, I actually died before I managed to do that. So yeah, that's kind of shitty. Um, still, what can you do? At this point, I might as well go ahead and pick up... I'm gonna try finding um, Titanite chunks. There are, I think, still a few left in this area. Cause right now with that, with the one I just picked up, I have two, and I need six, uh, and the Titanite slab to upgrade my weapon to. What is it? Not not even my weapon. What am I talking about? My pyro glove to plus ten, which hopefully is gonna give me an achievement. I don't know if that's achievement worthy, but it should be. If it's not, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, that's a lot of books. Huh, did that not slow me or did it already wear off? I don't know. Whatever, I'm just gonna run past this area. That crystal lizard, I don't think... I don't think crystal lizards drop chunks. I'm actually not sure on it. I'm pretty sure they don't. Another Chaos Gem, by the way. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure that Crystal Lizards don't drop uh, chunks. At least not these ones. Anyways. Let's get to the top. Number one thing I'm going to be doing here, like I said, is getting that shortcut unlocked. Because I don't want to do this run back again. I think you can, yeah, you can go this way as well. It's a waste of a spell, honestly. But now with the increased amount of um, FP I have, these spells really aren't that much of a problem. It's gonna be good because I can use more of the Chaos Bed Vestiges once I get to a boss. God damn, that deals a lot of damage. Yeah, this is a really strong spell as well. Uh, I wonder if this is... It's only scale. It's good, but not what I need. And this switch here, I think I'm gonna go up and get the wax on my head. And then I'm gonna do... I think that switch unlocks... I don't even know what it unlocks. Maybe a shortcut or... Oh, you didn't walk into the lava. I was so hopeful. What does that unlock? I think it just lowers um, a bookshelf. Another chunk. Lowers a bookshelf that leads to something. I'm not sure. Who cares? Let's just do it. Yeah, where does that lead? Just trying to figure it out. If I don't remember it, usually what that means is, is that it's not that important. Uh, but who knows? So I wonder how much this spell does. Because... Chaos Fire Orb, wow, that's a lot less. Holy shit. It must be that these guys are resistant to dark. Of course, it costs a lot less as well. Plunging attack? Kinda. Plunging attacks are weird in this game. Like, they felt a lot easier to pull off in previous Souls games. Oh, I still have... Okay, dude. Getting your head in the wax is actually really good. Um... I think I am going to kill this Outrider Knight. Great Chaos Fire Orb should take care of him pretty easily. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to spam him to death with spells. Why do you have so much HP? Whoa. Oh, yeah, of course. Spells do take stamina. Just sometimes I forget that. Ouch. This guy has a different... No, he doesn't. I was gonna say, does he have a different move set? But he doesn't get the fuck away from me. I hate these enemies, by the way. He's gonna take up all my Estus. Are you kidding me? I can't. I can't get myself up. Thank you. You've got to be shitting me. 
Literally can't avoid a single thing he's doing. Oh, come on, I hate this enemy. Well, that, there goes all my Estus, I think. Or most of it. Can I lock onto you? You're behind the pillar, I know. Just die. God damn, that was not worth the effort. Got the set at least. But holy shit. Yeah, these enemies are really annoying. That's why when I killed the first one um, on my first playthrough, I got quite a few comments that were, how the hell did you kill this guy so easily? He's a really hard enemy. And I was like, you know what? He didn't even seem that hard. Now I understand what people were talking about. This is actually a super annoying enemy with that fucking frostbite. And I bet if you use frostbite, it's not even that good. Usually that that's how it goes in these games. Could have just used the stairs. Whatever. I think this does lead to the shortcut. If I remember things correctly. Yeah, this leads to the elevator down to the bottom. Which is a good thing because I really got a really got arrested a bonfire and restock. It's weird having more FP than stamina, honestly. But I think that's gonna keep happening on the subsequent playthroughs as well. So yeah, we're definitely gonna hit this bonfire. We're actually moving through here fairly quickly. Um I think I died a lot more in my first play first run through here, which is understandable, I think. Anyways, let's check. Oops. Three chunks. Three more. And I can get my glove up to plus nine. And then I think the closest slab is probably the one you get at the elevator. On that elevator shortcut. Oh, hey there. Is he not dead? Yeah, he's not dead. Anyways, back up we go. I've been in the human form for quite a while now. Which is good. I think I'll stick with Great Chaos, because it's dealing a lot of damage. Not that these enemies are that challenging. In fact, you know what? I'm going to save my FP. Just trying to think if there's anything worth to pick up in here. Okay, let's get in here and pick this up. It's just a soul. I knew it was something not that good. I just didn't remember what it was. It, it was either an... I thought it was an ember. That's what I seem to remember. Yeah, these guys are super weak to fire. Or this spell does a shit ton of damage. Either or. Okay, you need to die. I'm still kind of obsessive with these crystals. Oh, shit. What we need to do is get the hell out of there. Yeah, again, I'm still kind of obsessed with picking up crystal lizards. Even though I say I don't need their... Um, upgrade materials, still, it's kind of just a thing. I don't want to leave a crystal lizard behind. Where is that gargoyle? I know this gargoyle scared me on my first play. I think he jumps up, doesn't he? Yep. Scared the shit out of me on my first playthrough. Actually, you take quite a bit of fire damage, don't you? Oh, no, you don't. You take a lot of dark damage. Yeah. Or more at least, more than fire. Why are you doing the shield thing? Ouch. I just noticed he nearly has me killed. Not even watching my HP. Come on. This is so annoying. Oh, and he's back on his... Oh yeah, of course. So does this spell just like automatically break stamina or something? Break guards? I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting spell. Because if it does, then that's really powerful. Can you jump down? So this is where I get lost sometimes. Because you can go along here. Or you can drop down. I don't think I ever ended up dropping down. Because that leads... Where does that lead? I don't know. Hey there. 
Ouch. What even hit me there? Was it his tail? Okay, that was a bad heal. Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. Did you fall off? I think he actually fell off. And I don't think he can get back up here. Well, that's his fault, isn't it? Dude, crystal is... What the hell? Nice. Rainbow colored butterflies. Wonderful. They are called butterflies, the pilgrim butterflies. That is really, that's so weird. Damn. This area is going all glitchy. This, did this one fall off again? I think he fell off as well. I missed both crystal lizards. But damn, that was, that was interesting. I think this leads to the... Where you have to fight two of them at the same time. I don't actually know what it leads to. If it leads to chunks, I'll take it. It's so weird. It almost seems like you can't hit airborne enemies. Don't know if that's actually the case, but... It certainly seems that way. Fucking sirens. All the time. Oops. Out. I literally can't record a single episode without this happening. Oh, well, these guys seem like really stupid. That does lead to a chunk, which is good. Just notice I have 72,000 souls, which is... I think I gotta watch out for. Hey there. So the one that fell off, is he dead or is he just like stuck somewhere? God damn it. Don't wanna waste my... Because it's because of the angle of the roof that is avoiding damage. Okay, you're dead. I actually managed to kill one, surprisingly. So where does this take us? I wanna see. It better lead to some, there's another one. Well, that's really good. I didn't know you had different color palettes for these guys. Okay, it just leads there. It's so weird. I wonder what's causing that. Like, do I have my binoculars? It must have been like the model didn't load correctly or something. Because it just looks like that wire mesh thing. Huh, that's really weird. I don't know, I don't know anything about programming and things like that, so I have no idea what's causing that. But I'm assuming it has to do with something like that, like the it didn't load correctly. So I just want to check out how, because I still haven't figured out how exactly this area all links together. Because what I just went after those two gargoyles is... The top of the Grand Archives. Oh, this guy is still here. Forgot you didn't die. Oh, shit. If this one kills me, I'm gonna be so angry. He has every chance to do it. No, actually, no. He doesn't. Yeah, that does break guards really easily. Because you can also go um, this way, right? But doesn't this lead back to... Hmm. Two chunks. Do I have it? Yes, I do. No, that ju this just leads to the other side of the same area. Okay, you need to... Oh, shit. You need to die quickly. Like, what? You've got to be shitting me. It's not even fair. That's... Oh, uh, Fuck you, game. That should have hit him. Now I have to fight this asshole. He's probably gonna kill me. Actually, you know what? Screw him. These guys are so powerful. Oh, hey there. Oh, shit. I don't want to deal with... Oh, no. This is not good. Is this a short... No, it's not. This leads to the NPCs. Uh, I don't want to lose 80,000 souls. I just missed the shortcut, didn't I? I 
think I just did. Amber. Useless. I'm gonna get trapped. No, they're not following me. I was really banking on those spells working. Do I have anything else that restores FP? No, I don't. This doesn't. This just restores HP. Yeah, this is where the other path leads. So actually that makes sense because when I first came through this area, I was wondering uh, what the point of this area was. Alright then. Oh, I wish you'd get the hell out of there. Invincibility from animations. During animations, I mean. Gotta use that to your advantage. Oh no. I was trying to heavy attack him. Or charge attack or whatever you want to call it. God damn, these guys are so strong. These guys are probably one, some of the strongest enemies in the game. In terms of how much just like pure damage they deal. I think I'm going to go warp back. Hopefully I have a consumable soul. And I'll upgrade my... Oh, I have a lot of consumable souls. I think one of these should be enough. And then I can head back. I'll, I'll be able to pick up my souls, no problem. And then we can actually get on with this area. Um, got three NPCs to fight through. And then we're basically at the top of Lothric, aren't we? Yeah, essentially. Hopefully I can at least get to the Titanite slab in this episode. This better give me an achievement, by the way. Upgrading my pyro glove, pyro glove. But honestly, I don't think it will. Yeah, reinforce this. And now we just need a slab. Alright then, and also get the undead bone shard. Since I'm here anyways. Not that it matters, I think my... Oops. My essence is pretty much restoring enough, but still. I don't want to leave that behind. Just trying to think of the quickest way to get back. But I think I got it. It's good that I kicked down the ladder at least, because then it would have been more annoying to get back. Probably would have had to sprint. But yeah, those back to those butterflies, really weird. If someone knows what causes that, please explain, because I'm actually kind of curious. Anyways, let's go ahead and... Oh, shit, before we go do that. I have so many embers that I think I can pretty much stay in human form for the rest of the game. Anyways, where is there he is? I have to call the elevator back because I didn't think I would die, to be honest with you. So I didn't send it back. Once we're done here, by the way, uh, in the Grand Archives. Actually, what was I going to say? I don't even know. Probably nothing important then. Um, Still. There it is, a nice convenient ladder shortcut. I should kill these guys before going up. Yeah, I think I think that's a smart decision here. These guys are easy enough to kill anyways. Whoa. Oh, of course, it's you. Don't want you to interfere. That's what you're doing right now. I wasn't gonna melee him because he's standing right near those curse arms. And we're back. Still gonna kill you. Oh, shit. It, it's weird that I've been hit by the wax, but it's, n it's never slowed me down. I don't know why, honestly. Alright then, it's time to fight some NPCs. I think with these spells, they should be pretty no easy enough to kill. Yeah, we'll take care of you first. 
I don't think he can heal. No, he can. He can heal. Fuck you, Dan. Oh, shit. I think Chaos Fire Orb is gonna be my best friend here. It... Oh, shit. Ah, damn. Not what I wanted. That was a waste of FP. Alright, then. Shit, that's a lot of damage. Should be hit by Crystal Soul Spear, honestly. I don't want to lose the items as well, they, they drop. Not that I need any of these items, but still. Let's see. Crystal Soul Spear versus... Great Chaos. I think Great Chaos just won there. Yeah. And now it's only you. He's the one that likes to heal a lot. Like, you gotta be careful of him. Oh, he's using poison arrows? Did not even notice that. Is he really trying to poison me? Fuck you and your chugging. La, yeah, that it seems to be that all NPCs get two Estus. I don't think I've ever seen them heal more than twice. And I have a shit ton of souls again. Alright, then there's nothing else here if I'm not mistaken. And as people have pointed out to me, some of these statues have Framped or Cath on them. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's Framped. It makes more sense lore wise. Really interesting, so the serpents had something to do with the Duke's archives. Not the Duke's archives, the Grand Archives, I mean. I don't know, I'm not even gonna get into lore here because there's just a lot of speculation. I'm 22 minutes in. Can I make it through this bridge in 8 minutes? That's, that's the question. I actually know because I have to... I have to go back and level up and shit. I'm not gonna risk 140,000 souls. This is a fairly difficult section here, I think. So, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna take that risk. Still, I'll try to get through as much of it as I can. I just want to get through because the at the end is the elevator that leads to the slab. So, you know, just want to get that. Okay, what should we get? I think I'm gonna get the 30-30 and with my endurance and vigor. And that should pretty much be a decent PvP build, I think, by the end. We got some strong pyromancies. Decent stats. Not the best weapon, but you know, what can you do? That's the thing I've noticed in the little PvP I've played. I played like two matches is that it seems really difficult to punish people from chugging, just like in Bloodborne. That was one of the reasons I didn't like Bloodborne PvP. Um, because at least in Dark Souls 2, uh, if people wanted to chug, the Essence um, Flask took a lot of time, and it was actually possible to punish them for it. Here, because the Essence Flask, like the health regen comes out so quickly, it's almost impossible to punish someone. Like. Even when I was fighting those NPCs, you saw how Gotthard, or not, that's not Gotthard, but the Katana guy was just like chugging. And there was no way to stop him from chugging, which is, I think is not the best design, to be honest with you. But, who am I to say? I'll go up there eventually, but I just want to get through here first. Leads to the cell. Not that there's anything there that I even remotely need. It's kind of weird that they put these really weak enemies up here. I mean, this is just a straight-up Demon Souls reference. This whole section. Not even just like Demon Souls specifically. Oh, come on. Hate when that happens. I don't win a trade. And... Game. Sometimes I'm, I'm disappointed in you. It seems like those multicolored butterflies have disappeared. 
I don't think locking on is a good idea here, actually. Getting these guys quickly enough, I mean, that's not an issue. Hey there, red eye. Yeah, you need to die. Thank you, lava. This is why this spell is really good. He pretty much couldn't do anything about that. The lava was gonna get him either way. I need to take care of these crossbow motherfuckers. Gotta do it quickly too because those red eye knights from the top, they, they actually just... I think they're on a timer. So they'll get to you eventually, whether you want them or not. Okay. Actually going through here decently quickly. I was having trouble with this area on my first run through here. I died like four times. Large shard, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you, game. At this stage, what I need is a large shard. Alright, then... It's so good that I can, I can just like spam enemies with spells. The lava really should have worked there, to be honest. It didn't, but whatever. It's as ashen up. Yeah, you're not gonna... This is so easy. Like, these guys are actually a fair bit of challenge. They're just like... Spamming them to death with fucking great chaos. And that's pretty much the thing with all the magic builds in any Souls game. Like, this is about how it goes. That it, they start off weak, but by the end, you can just like basically do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, he's not dead. Thought that trade would kill him. Actually, I can just hit him with anything because the chip damage is gonna. You've got to be shitting me. That deals so much damage. Yeah. Even with the shield up. Really had no chance. Yeah, large shards. Give me more... Oh, that, that was actually a chunk. I was going to say large shards, exactly what I need. I'll unlock this door anyways. I can just run past these knights the next time. And then we can take on Lothric with a plus 10 glove. I'm gonna try the power within um, chaos bat combo. I think that's no. You've got to be shitting me. Am I stuck? How the hell did I manage to do that? And I'm like spazzing. You've got to be shitting me. Ah, uh, game. Oh, that was kind of my fault. I accidentally jumped. I think we'll go back to the shrine. And you know what? I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I sent the elevator down. That's all that matters. I can now warp to the Dragon Slayer armor. We'll do that next time, I guess. That really wasn't how I planned on ending this, ending this episode. Yeah, that was... That wasn't the best, was it? I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Now that I'm thinking about it, a lot of weird shit has happened in this episode. Like that ending, the butterflies, just like crazy shit. I don't know what's going on. The game is like having a seizure or something. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.